Hi, my name is Justin, um, and I would like to talk to you a little bit about what I'm calling my cross-country love project. It started out as this teeny tiny little idea, and in the last few weeks, maybe the last month or two, it has just evolved and matured into something bigger than I had ever intended it to be. Uh, it's faced a lot of skepticism, but mostly it has just seen this outpouring of enthusiasm and support and encouragement and I would just like to tell you a little bit about what it is exactly that I will be doing. I'm very excited. It is a cross-country trip, obviously, because uh, it's called the Cross Country Love Project, but I will be driving from Michigan all the way out to California and making lots of stops along the way. This project has two parts. The first part focuses on random acts of kindness and senseless acts of beauty. I've got a bunch of flyers. I actually I printed up about 200 flyers last week. Uh, there's four different types, so I did 50 of each. Uh, they're just inspirational flyers with the little pull tabs. You know, you see advertisement flyers. They've got the little phone number that you can take off the bottom. These are inspirational flyers with pull tabs that have positive affirmations on them that go along with what the flyer says. Uh, I'm very excited about those. I also have a bunch of greeting cards, some of which have been donated, very beautiful, uh, and very sweet of her to donate them to me. And I will be giving those out, writing happy little messages in them. Uh, I will be leaving positive quotes, uh, all sorts of little cards that say, you know, smile, you've been tagged uh, with a random act of kindness, or cards that say, they're kind of like these little business card things. Uh, I've also got ones that say, you make a difference, something that you did made someone else smile, pass it on. Just the, these little things to make people smile. I'm even toying with the idea right now of putting together a couple CDs. Uh, actually, I think I've got about 10 blank CDs or so just hanging out, waiting to be used, and putting some inspirational, uplifting, encouraging songs on them for people that I come across in my travels that may really seem to need it. Uh, and anyway, the second part of my trip is also very exciting. Uh, this one, it, initially the trip was just going to be this random act of kindness trip, and all of a sudden this idea just fell into my head about making a book and talking to people and getting their stories, because everybody has a story, and I want to help give them a voice. So I want to put together a book when I get back. Part of it will be kind of my journals about you know, my encounters and adventures on this trip, and the other part will include uh, people's stories. I will have a notebook uh, along with me that I will be inviting people to write in. Uh, I don't care if it's, you know, a sentence or two or five pages, uh, but if they have something they want to share, I want to give them the chance to share that with the world. It could be a family recipe, it could be who their hero is, it could be some cherished memory, uh, it could be some struggles that they've gone through and things that they've learned. It doesn't really matter. It just needs to be something that speaks of them. Everybody's got a story. And all of these entries are going to be anonymous uh, when I put the book together because I want people to realize that these emotions, these... In okay, this is going to have to be cut. <laughs> I want people to realize when they read my book that these stories could come from anyone. They could come from their mother, they could come from their teacher, their neighbor, the homeless man down the street, anybody. You know, there is so much that goes into making a person an individual, all their opinions and their hopes and their dreams and their fears and their experiences, their past, their present, their choices, their everything. You know, a person is so complex, and I want to try and capture some of that. And my hope when the book is put together and gets out there is to help people regain their faith in humanity, I guess, or something along those lines. Uh, so anyway, that's the second part of my project. I'm going to be interviewing people, possibly a, a few video interviews, but um, mostly writing in my notebook, or I... I ordered a bunch of business cards that have an email address on there in case they need some more time to think about what they would like to share or 
I mean, the email address is also in case I, you know, anybody on the internet who would like to contribute, um, I'll include that in the bottom of the video. Anyway, uh, I'm horrible about this. I, the whole making videos thing, I'll, I'll sit in front of my computer for a half an hour <laughs> easily running through my brain of what I want to say and how I want to say it, and my hand will hover over the mouse, over that record button, and then it'll move away from the record button because I don't have it just right and I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> so I drive myself nuts with this. I get all nervous, even though I know that I can re-record or I can edit things out. Because um, I want to say it right and I want to get the right words out there and I want people to take me seriously. But you know what? You don't have to take me seriously because life is about fun and life is not about being serious all the time. It's about getting out there and enjoying yourself and doing what you love to do. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with this trip. So I guess I kind of came around full circle to something that I uh, really needed to say about it. You know, um, I hope that this endeavor of mine can actually reach out and maybe inspire some other people to get out there and do something they want to do. It doesn't have to be big. Maybe it will just encourage someone to go out there and post an inspirational flyer or do something their own way. To make somebody else smile. Maybe somebody is going to go ahead and make their own little smile, tag your it, someone did an act of kindness for you, pass it on, pay it forward card, and you know, go through the drive through and pay for somebody behind them and leave that card and create this chain of acts of kindness. I mean, who knows? I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how far this is going to go. I don't know what the outcome's going to be. I don't even know if people are going to be that receptive to giving me contributions for the book that I want to put together, but, you know, that's part of the adventure of life, too. You don't know what is going to happen. You don't know what's going to come about, and you don't know what... <laughs> Here I go again. I'm lost. You don't know what kind of reactions you're going to get to, what you want to do. You don't know the outcome, and... You just got to get out there and do it anyway. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, end up with a flat tire or have my car break down or if I'm going to run across somebody who wants to do me harm. But I have the best of intentions for this. I know what I'm doing. I know who I am. Skepticism be darned. Uh, and I'm going to listen to my gut. I'm going to be safe as best as I can. And I'm going to get out there and I'm going to create some smiles. And I'm going to give people hugs. That's something I forgot. I'm going to do free hugs. I don't know if you've seen the uh, the official campaign video for free hugs, but the story is amazing. You should look it up. Uh, I've got a big old sign that says free hugs. I'm going to go out there and do that too. Uh, and just, I'm just going to go out there and be me. I mean, what else are you going to do, right? <laughs> Thanks for listening to me babble. I'm not sure if I'm going to edit this or not. I've got to watch it through first and see <laughs> how terrible it is. So anyway, thank you very much. Um, I hope that uh, you might follow my uh, adventures and maybe gain something from it. Love you. Peace out. Bye.